everyone, um, my name is Erin, for those of you that don't know me, and uh, this is my 13 week pregnancy vlog. I uh, actually haven't been very good at doing them every single week, so but I will. I'm going to start doing them every, probably on Sundays, um, either Saturday or Sunday. Uh, my weeks turn over on Saturdays, um, so I am 13 weeks and one day today. Um, so I've had a really, really easy, awesome pregnancy so far. It's been absolutely amazing in every way. I haven't been sick. I've been really tired and really hungry, um, but really otherwise I've been like, it's been really, really easy. Um, in the first, I would say like the first, of course the first like six weeks, eight weeks or so, I was really nervous. Um, my husband and I had a miscarriage before and um, so of course I was just really nervous and hoping for all of that to go by and it did um, and what we actually, what happened was we actually, um, I'm not sure if I said this in my previous vlogs and without going back and looking, um, but we went and saw a fertility doctor on April 1st and then found out on April 5th that we were actually already pregnant. So it's very exciting because we were able to get pregnant on our own instead of having to go through the fertility treatments. And um, so it's very surprising and, you know, we weren't expecting it. We were expecting to go through the fertility stuff. So it was very, um, very neat to kind of, you know, just kind of go through that whole process. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll just cover the last, maybe the last week or so, um, or I'll try to sum up what, you know, everything that's happened. But um, basically I had, so after we found out we were pregnant, the fertility office got me in right away to do a blood test. Um, so they confirmed on April 6th um, that yes, indeed I was pregnant. And, uh, and then I had my first doctor's appointment, I think when I was around eight weeks. Um, along and um, it was really quick. It was just uh, I had another blood test to you know reconfirm um, that I was still pregnant and my HCG levels were rising, which it came back uh, really positive. Um, and then there she just really kind of answered some questions and that's it. Um, I then had another appointment scheduled with my doctor, which at that one was it was more of a physical. So she took my weight and my um, blood pressure asked me a whole lot of family history questions and then she um, uh, used the Doppler. Well first she measured my uterus and at that time I was 10 weeks along and I was measuring at like 12 weeks my uterus. Um, uh, and I was showing a lot um, for being at that that far along so I thought like I was having twins for sure. Um, and so she tried to use the Doppler to find the heartbeat and she was able to find it just for a couple seconds. Um, that was at 10 weeks. So I was able to hear it a little bit. Um, then I came home and I ordered a Doppler online. So I ordered one from Tummy Tickles. I think it's tummytickles.com, but, um, I can confirm that later. Um, but so I ordered a Doppler and then I got that at the end of May. Yeah. And um, so that was really cool because I was able then to hear the heartbeat myself whenever I wanted to. And I was able to find it really quickly and I was able to record it, um, which is also in a video on my channel, uh, the, the sound of the heartbeat. So at 12 weeks, we had our first ultrasound and um, I think we were 12, yeah, we were 12 weeks. And that was really cool because we got to see the baby and actually see that it was like, you know, progressing and everything. Um, which was very exciting. Uh, it, the technician, like as she was doing the ultrasound, she kind of like pushed my belly and I had to, like, of course you have to go to the full bladder. So I was so, I had to go to the bathroom so bad. Um, but she pushed my belly and on the camera, we got a DVD, so it's also on my channel, but, um, you can see the baby like kick back and then kind of roll over. So it was so cool to see it like move. Cause before that you're just looking at the baby like sideways, you know, it's like sideways and it's just laying there. It just looks like you're like, oh cool, it's my baby. But then when it kicked and rolled over, I was like, ah, it moves. Like I was freaking out. Cause I was like, it's an actual moving thing, which is, it just took seeing it move to really make me realize. Um, so now that we're 13 weeks, I have the baby's room pretty much done. Um, not like colors or anything, but I have, um, like I got a glider and I got the crib and the change table. Um, 
what else? We got some clothes. I've been collecting clothes for like three years. So, and books, children's books for three years. So they're all in there too. Um, so we got that done yesterday, just kind of setting it up and our crib and change table get delivered this week sometime. Um, otherwise I have another appointment, uh, middle of June with my doctor. And then I have my first appointment with my OBGYN that will be delivering our baby, um, at the end of June. So that's, that's coming up as well. And I think my next ultrasound will probably be around 20 to 22 weeks or maybe 18 weeks. I'm not sure. I don't have it scheduled yet. So, um, I did, the reason I had an ultrasound early is I did opt to get the IPS testing done where they test to make sure that they're, the baby is clear for Down syndrome and spina bifida. And, uh, so I've done the ultrasound and the first set of blood work for that. And then I go for my second set of blood work on June 21st. Um, and they take those two tests and they compare it all and, and come up with, a some information. Um, but yeah, so in terms of how I've been feeling, like I said, really good, like honestly, like so great. Um, I like, I, I don't even know. I haven't really been craving anything. I actually have been craving lemonade and ice cream, lemonade a lot. Like I drink so much lemonade. It's unreal. Uh, and I never really drank lemonade before. Um, but otherwise, like my first like eight weeks to t eight to 10 weeks, I was like craving healthy food, like lots of fruits and vegetables and salad and pasta. Like I was a, I was a carboholic. Um, and then in the last couple of weeks, it's been junk food. Like I've just been craving poutine, which in Canada is a French fries, gravy and cheese food d dish thing. Um, so it's been horrible. I have to get back on my healthy eating, but, uh, anyway, so that's kind of the update. I'm going to start doing the videos every sat either Saturday or Sunday, um, every week. So you can kind of see the progression, especially for my family members who are not here and for anyone else who's interested, um, ask me any questions you want. Uh, I'm happy to answer them. Um, and I'll just, before I go show you where my belly's at. So, um, this is the front view and this is from the side so you can see I'm really showing like it's it's pretty giant for as you can see for being only three months it's pretty big <laughs> so um or so I hear people tell me all the time they're like you're a giant so I feel pretty uh pretty big but anyway that's it um and thank you so I'll talk to you all soon bye